potentially multiple models being orchestrated at the same time, the centerpiece, and then dynamically assembling as you need it, pieces of information potentially from multiple different sources to sort of guide or enable that agent process to make smart decisions and arrive at the kind of the automation ultimately that you're looking for. So we've just launched this agent series and it's really intended to address someone of, I want to get started right away with models. Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. And I am super excited. We are announcing a new fast start series. So right behind me, you can actually see in the LLMware repository. For those who are familiar with this, typically there was only one fast start series, which was really a guided tour to retrieval augmented generation. What we've just launched is a guided tour through agents. So now there are two different fast start entry points. We believe this really reflects the way that people are thinking about using small language models in conjunction with enterprise automation today. There are a lot of people and it's still an incredibly important topic. In fact, we would still say it's where most of the problems typically are is in building the knowledge base. And how do you connect that knowledge base into an LLM pipeline? And so in our RAG fast start series, we walk through um, all the principles around how do you set up and parse documents and ingest text chunk, create embeddings, how do you build a whole set of retrieval and data pipeline and pre-processing strategies to extract that information dynamically and connect it to some form of a prompt? And then how do you do that full closed loop around the source verification and fact checking to confirm that the output that you've gotten from the model is then enriched with all of that information? Well, this is where we were in terms of a fast start series. But one of the most common questions that we kept getting from people was, oh, that's great. I know I need to get to that. In fact, I know that that's where a lot of the hard challenges lie. But I've heard so much about small specialized models. I want to get started with them right now. And part of the logic that we find so compelling about agents is the idea of doing much more in stream and in context making the model and potentially multiple models being orchestrated at the same time, the centerpiece, and then dynamically assembling as you need it, pieces of information potentially from multiple different sources to sort of guide or enable that agent process to make smart decisions and arrive at the kind of the automation ultimately that you're looking for. So we've just launched this agent series and it's really intended to address someone of I want to get started right away with models. And so we've put together, we've assembled a bunch of examples, some that we've updated and curated from other examples we've prepared over the last few weeks and months, and then a whole bunch of other new examples that we've packed into this. And what this enables you to do is each example is numbered. You can work through them in any order that you want. So they're all independent. You can copy, paste, and run. But if you want to work through them in a progression, we start with the very basics and foundations of how to use models in LLMware, how to start working through the bling and dragon models, extract, summary, how to start building basic agent processes and workflows with several end-to-end -end examples, integrating in things like Whisper CPP so you can be doing voice transcription and adding in kind of a new dimension to any workflow. We then walk through all of our 5.3 function calls, which is a topic of another video that we've done, how to summarize longer documents, how do you semantic re-ranking, streaming so you can start building applications with larger responses, Again, another end-to-end -end examples, integrating in structured data. And then a couple of new things that we've added, integrated in some of our RAG and Struct benchmark tester, and the ability then to start getting benchmark data and integrating it into what you're doing with LLM. So it is chock full of all kinds of stuff. So please come and check it out. What we're gonna do in this video is I just wanna walk you through the very first example. If you're familiar with LLMware, maybe this will be a good refresher, but if you've never used LLMware, if you walk through this example in the next five minutes, you're actually gonna be running through a whole series of locally deployed small specialized models that you're gonna be running for yourself you know, on your own machine and in your own environment. So these examples are intended to be really documented and self-guiding, explaining you know, how to get set up with LLMware, minimizing all of the dependencies that are required to get started. And then what we walk through in this in a, in a self-guided way is the very first thing, you know, how do you load a model and how do you get started doing that? Building up then what are some of the optional parameters to start controlling or, or guiding a generation that you're getting? And then we walk through again, a whole series of explanations of the models, how to discover and start invoking different models. We then go to some function calling models, 
You're going to start using function call rather than just an infer. To start using sentiment, extraction, topic analysis, tagging analysis, and, and so you can tag in more complex documents. Using I mean, an extreme summary or a headline building type of tool. A Boolean, asking fact-based questions and getting Boolean structured responses. And then how to run through a whole series of tests so you can learn more about models in topics classification, tagging, emotion summary and extreme summary and the idea is that in walking through this in just a few minutes you will have probably run 10 different models uh, you'll have run a few dozen different inferences and at that point you'll be an old pro in terms of having the foundation then to start building on this in all the examples that will follow all right so this is the example you can copy paste and run what i'm going to do now i'm just going to flip over into my ide and we're just going to run this example so you can see some of the output and what to expect from it Okay, try to make the screen a little easier to see, the dark background. Here you can see I've just copied and pasted all of these agent fast start examples. We're just starting with the very first one. This is what we were just looking at in the repository. Here are all the comments. And all we're going to do is we're just going to run this script and it's going to start clicking through. Now, the first time that you do it, I do want to kind of give you the heads up. It's going to be downloading these models from our repository and caching them locally on your system. So depending on your Wi-Fi, it might take one to two minutes for each of these models. So maybe have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea with you as you're going through and running it the first time. Once those models are cached, each successive run is gonna look like what I'm about to run for you now, where typically it takes a few seconds to load the model and, and typically no more than a few seconds to run the inference. So with that as a backdrop, let's just go ahead and let's run this and give you a sense of what you're gonna see so again, the output is fairly matter of fact. There are a lot of comments in the script to explain what's going on. And as you can see, it actually shows you all of the models that are available in the LLMware catalog. And one of the beauties of our model catalog discovery mechanism if you know the model name, that's all you need to invoke the model. You don't have to know what kind of model it is, details around the implementation. Every single model can be invoked simply using that model name. So this gives you a great way then to start getting a view of all the models that are available in the LLMware catalog. We're then going through and doing some of the function calls. So you can see we've done a sentiment analysis. We've done an extraction. We've analyzed the topic. We've analyzed some tags that we've been able to generate based on that material. We've built a headline and we've run some Boolean yes, no questions. And what you can see if this is the first time that you're seeing these models, these are function calling models that generate a Python dictionary. So we passed it a, a financial passage. It actually then gave us a response of a revenue key with a value then associated with that revenue. Topic key with the subject of it, which was earnings. The tags then tag the interesting and meaningful objects in that text, which again can be used for a whole variety of purposes, but again, in its own form type of a summarization activity. We then built a headline. So here's a summary um, of that article. And then we asked a yes or no question. And then what's pretty cool about the Boolean response gives us an answer key that's either yes or a no. And then it actually gives us the explanation, which is the text in a separate passage. And then we run through a whole series of tests so you can see we're running now through these automated tests. So you can see one of the models in action. It's running through a bunch of tests. But again, I want to come back. Please come and check out the new Agent Fast Start. It is the fastest, easiest way to get started using small specialized models for inference, for function calls, and start building your own private agent workflows, all deployed locally in your own environment and in your own laptop. Thank you, everybody.